Right, good morning. It's now New Year's Day. You join me on the Avon. Still a bit nasal, I do apologise. Uh, the water level is up, not massively up. Definitely up to the top of uh, where it's easy to gain access to this bit. Uh, basically, it's to the top of my wellies. I'm expecting the water level to come up even more during today. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on that and I'll probably get wet feet on the way out. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of crap coming down the stream, as you can see off the right hand rod there, wrapped over. Uh, still, uh, I'm fishing boilies and pellet for barbel. And yeah, it's just a nice quiet day. Give the wife the house to herself, basically. Uh, if I struggle or the water level comes up too much here, the scenery may change. But other than that, I'll probably be sat here for the day, just giving it a gut bash. Because uh, I know there's usually a lot of chub here to be had as well, so I could change the rigs around a little bit and try and catch some of them. Right, that's the update done. I will speak to you later. Ciao for now. That's definitely a way. Oh. Okay, a little bit of carnage. This one's just coming at £2.12 ish. <laughs> this one's just coming at three and a half. Uh, I'll show you what I'm doing in a minute. Right, admin, get these fish back. So the tactics are quite simple, really. I've got uh, two little bolt rigs uh, and I'm fishing fluorocarbon hook links to size 10 hooks and a, a dumbbell hook bait. Uh, Feeding wise, I'm loose feeding a few boilies in every now and again. Uh, I'm feeding with 12 mils, 10s, 12s, and dumbbells of various flavours, just what I've got left over. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and then uh, I'm also moulding some pellets around the hook. Uh, the pellet mix I made last night, soaked it in rainwater and some liquids, put a little bit of ground bait in there to turn it into like a sticky, pasty, claggy mix. So that's going around the hook uh, every other cast at the moment. I don't want to put too much bait in yet uh, because I don't want to feed them up, basically. I don't, I think there's a finite number of fish in this one. But yeah, it's what? Hello, it is 20 to 10 and I've had two chub. So it's not too bad. Uh, if needs be, I can always move stretches. I mean, the water level is coming up a bit here. So if I need to run away, I can, I'll need to stick a Put a stick in so I can keep an eye on just how wet things are. But yeah, that's it. Update done. I will let you know if I catch any more. Right, speak to you in a bit. Here we go. Three and three quarter pounds. It's just coming up on two o'clock. I'm on my second stretch. I'm in my third swim on this stretch. Uh, and I'm getting plagued by weed. But uh, that's just ramped off like a barbell and scared the fajitas out of me. Right, it's just coming up to half two. As I've already told you, I've moved stretches, as you can see. Uh, I'm in the third swim of this stretch. Uh, the first one, I've got wet feet. Uh, the second one, there was a tree in the way. And the third one is I've come to a straight, which looks absolutely no good whatsoever. But I chucked a, a lead out just to see what the bottom was like, and it was clear. And so it's like, oh, all right then. It's got a nice boily crease down the inside here. So I'm fishing one on the edge of the crease which is where I've had the fish on the upstream rod, believe it or not. And the right hand rod is fishing a bit closer in next to an overhanging reed downstream of me. And, uh, but yeah, all pretty good really, to be fair. Uh, I'm gonna be here for another couple of hours because uh, I'll fish till dusk. And yeah, we'll see what we get on. Yeah, lots of leaves and stuff coming down the river though, which is uh, hanging up on the line, hence the, the rod tips hung over like that on the left hand rod. Uh, but yeah. The leads are holding bottom, so it's all good. Right, I will update you if I get anything else. I'll see you then. Chat for now. Here we go, they're getting bigger. Four pound eight, thank you very much. Right, so today I've been doing a bit of a practice session at Sells Green. This is the average stamp of fish I've been catching. I've been catching on bread, worm and all sorts. I thought it would have been better, but it really hasn't been. 
Right, I'll show you a catch shot and I'm off. Okay. Here we go, just after four hours, two and a half kilos. Uh, biggest, ow, biggest couple of fish. Nope, try not to throw him. Nice dumpy little perch and dumpy little skimmer. Yeah, not bad. Right, home time. Right, good morning. It's now Thursday morning uh, and you join me on Dandy's Ford Fishery. I'm on lodge pool at the moment and I'm per down here perch fishing for the day. I've got lobworms left over, I've got some dendies and I've got some prawns. And uh, I'm just uh, put a little bit of bait down into a corner down to my right here where I know there's a couple of old lily beds. And I've just chucked a lobworm over that and I've chucked a lobworm out into open water. And believe it or not, the first indication I've had is just on a lobworm in open water. But I missed it. Now I've got a bit of a problem because I'm watching carp bubble. So it could be interesting if I hook one of those on this light gear. But we shall cross that bridge when we get to it. If I catch anything I'll show you, if I don't then I won't, and uh, I will chat to you later. Right, I need a cup of tea. Right, quick update, I've moved lakes onto the canal lake and all I've had since I've got here is loads of indications of small fish, even had a little carp that I've lost. So uh, I'm going back onto the lodge. Finally had a bite on the, why am I fishing, prawn rod. Not quite what I'm after though. Nine and a half pound. It's put a smile on my face though. Right, gonna get this back and uh, reset for dust. Right, well it's Friday morning. Uh, I'm back down on the Hampshire Haven. A little bit further down from where I was on New Year's Day. Uh, the water level's still up, but it's a lot clearer. Uh, and there's still a lot of rubbish coming down, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd try a different stretch. Unfortunately, I found that all of the water fishable is quite narrow little creases down the inside, so it's not quite suited to what I wanted to do today. So I'm on the brink of going for a walk. Uh, but yeah, that's it, update done. I'll show you if I catch anything later, but I'm not holding my breath today. Yay, more crap on the right and wrong. Right, see you later. Right, well it's Saturday morning and I'm at Topper Manor on Peg 70 for the belated Christmas match. Uh, wish me luck, I'm going to need it. The weather is awful, I've got some real superstars in my section. Uh, but we'll see how we get on. Right, chat for now. Right, good morning. It's now Wednesday morning and you join me on the banks of the Kennet and Avon Canal. Which is a bit frozen. Uh, it's an army match today. I've come down to help peg it, so rather than going off to the pub, I've decided to stay down here and freeze. However, uh, update from the weekend on the topper match. It's a bloody squirrel running across the canal. Anyway, update from the topper match was I did not do very well. I had Pem right in a couple of pegs up to my left and another superstar whose can't name I can't remember, but he won the section anyway on peg 69. And... Uh, yeah, I had 11 pounds after three hours and they were both up towards 60, 70, 80 pound. And so I uh, packed up early, went walked around another lake and went home. And that's it really, that was my top of Christmas match. Uh, it was all my fault. I was very ill prepared, but c'est la vie. However, better prepared for this. I'm gonna go and make me icebreaker and uh, I shall see you in a few hours. Because the uh, sun's coming up. Hopefully it'll warm up. Right, ciao for now. Right, well that have been officially pants. I've had 330 grams for absolutely nowhere. I'm off home to go and get the wife. Right, see you next time. Right, good morning. It's Tuesday morning. You join me on a stretch of the Dorset style called Presham Woods, run by Blantford and District Dangling Club. Uh, it's a very slow and deep stretch. So I'm chasing perch and I'm failing miserably at the moment. Uh, I thought it'd be quite good because there's lots of marginal features, but uh, I think there's too much depth, if I'm honest. Uh, 
been here for what 20 minutes half an hour can't get any further upstream than this to the other good bits because there's a tree across the path which I'm not getting through it's quite thick uh, so uh, I'm gonna bounce down a couple of swims downstream give it another half an hour to an hour here and then go for a look somewhere else I think and that's it update done right I will tell you if anything else good happens and failing than that I might see you somewhere else All right chat for now Right, it's just coming up on lunchtime, and as you should be able to see, I've moved stretches. Uh, did no good on the first stretch at all. Uh, no touches on worm. I tried a bit of cheese paste, but it just felt too deep. So down here, it's a lot shallower. There's a lot more flow. So I'm giving it a go for a few hours. And then I'll be off. Hopefully I'll get a chub. I found a couple of nice looking swims a bit further upstream. Uh, but I'm giving a few swims a go before I get there. That's it really, update done. Hopefully I'll show you fish at some point today. If I don't, meh, see you at the weekend. Ciao for now. There we go. Check that cracker out. Four pound dead. Hey, I'm not completely useless. Right, I'm going to get this back and try and get another one. Right, good morning. It's a uh, Saturday morning. You join me on the banks of on the banks of the Hampshire Raven, that looked like a little bang. Chasing Chubb again. Been here about 40 minutes. That's my first indication. Typical as soon as I get the camera out, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, the water's been definitely up. You can see on the fence line there where the water level's been up to recently. It's starting to fine down nicely now, but it's very fast, it's very cold, it's very clear. So I'm fishing cheese paste on the link ledger and hoping for a fish. I'll take one. Any more than that will be a bonus. Alright, I'll let you know how I get on. Ciao for now. How's about some of that? Five pound two, Hampshire Avon chop. Here we go, fish number two. <laughs> Just shy of three pound. Happy days. How's about some of this then? Five pound, three ounces. Five pound and number two for the day. Right, it's just gone half four. I've got about an hour until I'm out. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've had a five three, a five two and a two pound 10. So a really, really good day. I also had a little trout from further downstream as well, which I didn't bother showing you because it doesn't count. But yeah, considering that uh, well, only a week ago the river was at the top of the bank on the far bank there, it's been a really good day. So yeah, this will be it now. Unless I catch anything else, I'm going to do a final little bounce further downstream again. And I will see you in February where I will be doing a lot more of this. So until then, ciao for now. <laughs>